Hola mga Lakers! Welcome back! If you're new to my channel, my name is Sir Kevin. I love to share my skills and knowledge about educational technology. I upload before twice and now four times a week. So if you want to learn more about educational technology, subscribe now and hit that notification bell so you will be updated on my latest video. For this video, I'm gonna show you how to customize your ebook. I made series of videos for me to show you how you can use Kotobi Author and Kotobi Reader. If you want to check the previous episodes, click the caption above. In your Kotobi Author, go to Customize tab. Usually, on this tab, we check the preview of our ebook across all devices. But on the left side, we have an option here to customize our ebook. Let's start with tabs. If you click it, it has some options below naming Media tab, Notebook tab, Search within ebook tab, and Settings tab, which are reflected on the preview. These options enable you to hide or show certain tab. Let's try to hide this Search within ebook. When you choose Hide, the magnifying glass icon disappears from the tab. To show it again, just click the Show button. Now, it depends on your preference whether you like to show all the tabs or not. But it is recommended to hide two tabs. One is the Media tab. If we click the Media tab on the preview, it shows all the media files attached on your ebook, which is unnecessary. So let's hide this tab by clicking this Hide button. The other one is Chapter tab. If you click it, it shows the list of chapters of your ebook, which is also the same function on the three horizontal line known as the hamburger icon. So let's avoid redundancy and hide also this tab. Again, click the Hide button. Now, on the Design tab, you have several options to configure. One is the slogan. The text you type here appears on the startup page. Let's add one. Then, to see your slogan, you need to restart the emulator by clicking this button. Wait for a while. And here is your slogan. Now, you can change the background. If you want a simple color background, look for Startup Background Color and click this tiny space or gap. And a color palette will appear. Choose your desired color on this rainbow-like line and on the other side, choose the best shade. Note that it should be contrasting with the startup text color. For instance, you pick white for background and for text, it should be something dark like black. Once done, the emulator will automatically restart to preview the changes made. If you want an image as background, beside Startup Image, click Add Image button and locate desired image. For this demonstration, I'll choose an animated image. Click Open to upload and Emulator will automatically restart for preview. Since my image is a little bit dark, 
I'll change the startup text color to white. This loader color lets you change the color of the loading icon. Again, be mindful to the color of your background and choose contrasting color. Theme provides several color scheme for your ebook. Choose original if you want the default color or you want to personalize some colors below, like the header, tabs, chapters, and many more. If you messed up with the colors, no worries. Just scroll down and click Reset to Default Colors. If you want an easy way, just choose any of the color schemes provided, which best suits for your ebook. And you're done. As simple as that. Next, on the Display tab, choose the desired page animation, such as Page Flip. Card Flip. We also have Fade. And lastly is the slide. Once you're done, go back again to Edit tab and click Save. The most awaited moment is to view your finalized ebook. Open Kotobi Reader. If you haven't have the reader, click the caption above to install. Click Open ePub File. Then search your ebook. Wait to load. And there you go! Congratulations! You have now your very own interactive ebook waiting to be read by your dear students. If you made an ebook that covered the first quarter lessons, you can submit your output to EdTech Unit. I'll put the link in the description below for reference. If this video helps you a lot, give a like and share to the people you think who needs to see it. Thank you for watching and I am Sir Kevin. See you on my next video.